It is a new day, I just look the same. But I did cleanse myself, and I can prove it to you, I'm not wearing the same thing because I'm wearing this. Wait, okay, I do yoga, I can be very flexible. Hold on. They're Grinch booties. Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. I went to sleep at 4 a.m. I am fasting today, but I'm only gonna be drinking liquids and maybe a banana. When I open the fridge to get this here lemon for my detox juice, the sweet potato pie was looking me straight in the face and I was like, God, I want you so bad. But it has no legs, so it's not going anywhere. Unless the power of- Also, I woke up at 2 p.m. If you're new here and you're wondering what this drink I drink every morning is, it's a tummy detox moment and it's just lemon juice, sea salt, and cinnamon and it's good for your immunity and it's a good way to start your morning to rid any toxins inside you. I normally would only do half the lemon, but these past two days I've been doing the full lemon. This lemon in particular was very, very juicy. I'm taking out the seeds if you're wondering. Too many in here. I'm not bobbing for lemon seeds. I'm trying to drink lemon juice. Cheers to Santa doing his thing once again. He never misses a year. Cheers. I'm really shocked that I downed that whole thing in one sip. He was a lot. That was a lot. Black seed oil. Another thing good for the immunity that gets rid of any dirt and grime within your body that you do not need or want. Teaspoon of that every day. Other than me waking up super late, I did wake up pretty wide awake. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling hopeful for this day. The plan of the day is to take it easy but also finish cleaning my desk area that, sorry, the black seed oil is settling and it always makes me burp. Finish organizing and cleaning my desk, er desk area that I never got to after I had switched my whole living space around. It's just very cluttered and it needs to, needs to be a shift in the way I have my organization and like art things supplied and stored on that table. So I'm gonna do some cleaning. I also have a package that's in the mail room for like two weeks. I should probably get that. And then I plan on streaming today on Twitch for my first time. I'm kind of nervous just because I've never done something like that. But you gotta start at somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. And uh, I don't know how it's gonna go. So I just imagine myself sitting at my table doing a puzzle very lonesome while having an open door for people to come in and nobody comes in. I'm gonna show you the puzzle I'm gonna be doing. This is a $8 Christmas puzzle of Santa. He works in a very nice space. I mean, he looks really jolly. So as long as he's, if he likes it, I love it. I'm going to be, also he's running with a feather. God, we love tradition. I'm gonna be making this 500 piece puzzle on Twitch that normalized me. I mean, by the time you see this, I'm sure it has already happened, but I do plan on using that platform more often so you can still go over there if you like. Is this a jar of mayonnaise or is that his ink? I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of casted in the shadows probably because he's ashamed to be having a jar of mayonnaise next to him for comfort. But again, if he likes it, I love it. I didn't end up getting my period, so we have a few hours at least. I didn't wake up to it. So I guess I didn't get any gifts this year. Not even a gift of womanhood. I hope your Christmas is going so well and I hope you got everything you desired and whatever that means for you. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Is this still considered Vlogmas? I don't know. Vlogmas Day 25. Welcome to a new video made by me, Casey. Happy to have you here. Okay, honesty hour. I really want to eat. Fast is broken. I fasted for like an hour. And this is not a challenge per se for me. I do this many of times. I just uh, want to eat so I'm going to allow myself to do so. And then I'll fast another time. Throwing that idea in the garbage, we'll do it again another time. I feel like I needed to share my truth with you because I told you I was going to be fasting. But instead, I'm going to be eating sweet potato pie as my first meal of the day. And I feel like that's super valid. Thank you for coming. I've been cleaning and my desk looks clean. It still looks bulky because I have so much material. I'll show you, I'll show you when it gets there. Since I already brought it up, the day after it's been fridged, look at how wonderful he looks. And it tastes so good. This is what I imagined it to hold up like when I was making it. Turned out he just wanted to cool down before being munched in. I do think, I know the sweet potato pie episode is over, but I do think the ingredients got separated since I mixed them all in two bowls, but it's delicious. It's, I deserve a medal. It's 7.11 p.m. I've literally put on the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog 
that awful live action movie. It's not even that the movie itself is bad. It's just that I feel like the actors aren't fitting. And it just the whole thing feels awkward. His blue wasn't even a correct blue. His shoes aren't red. There's a lot of small details that I didn't like going into watching the movie. So like not even very much into it. I was turned away and I just entered hibernation mode for two hours or however long the, the length of the movie is. It paid off though because I am feeling so, I'm still feeling very sluggish. I'm feeling so sluggish today and um, I just laid in bed for two hours and closed my eyes and regenerated energy and literally put myself in an incubator. I was in my hibernation shit like for real. But I did want to show you my desk. I mean really not even anything all that special. It's just clean. It looks pretty exactly the same because I told you I was going to show you. So let's show. So that's it. It's clean. I moved that box that usually is on that side to that side and then everything that's usually on this side on that side. My computer is in an awkward space. It still needs to be entirely situated. But that is all that cleaning is going to be getting from me. I don't have the energy. I'm sipping hibiscus tea and i'm starting to put my space together to begin the puzzle i realized that waiting till 7 p.m on christmas day was probably my worst idea that i've had all season all holiday season because there's no way now unless the power of saint nicholas comes around am i going to get a 500 piece puzzle done in like five hours i do have to wake up at 6 a.m tomorrow but anyways i'm putting that together and I am not even very stoked about streaming, but I do want to get used to that platform, so I'm going to do it anyways. You know what though? This doesn't even look that threatening. These puzzle shapes and pieces do not look threatening to me at all. I kind of already feel like I'm losing because I don't think this amount of table space is going to be enough to cover the whole puzzle. I'm going to try to bring my swivel chair over here to see if it'll actually give me a place to place myself. That is off of my two legs. I think this will take me five hours at the bare minimum. Plus I like a lot of breaks so I will be doing that. It's gonna take me like 10 hours. I hate this platform. How do you even, how do I, how do I stream? I sincerely don't have the brain power to figure this out right now. I'm about to just put streaming in my back pocket and make it a goal for 2024. What do we think? That sounds perfect to me. I have Twitch Studio. I should have prepared myself for this way ahead of time. I really wanted, was looking forward to this too earlier in the week and now I'm just so drained that I can act like the thought never existed. What kind of puzzle piece is this? What is this? I'm not feeling helpful anymore. How do I even show you to see? Who is he? His arm is broken. Ooh, he's long. Look at these. Fucking puzzle pieces. What kind of shapes are these? What happened to a regular jigsaw piece? These puzzles make me mad and I love puzzles. This man right here will not ruin this for me. Fuck you, St. Nicholas. Okay, I think I decided because Twitch is not wanting to, this is Twitch Studio that is blank. And either it's just not finished downloading or I'm missing something else. But Twitch is gonna be on the back, in the back in my pocket. It's gonna be in my pocket. I'll see you. I'll see you gamers soon. You know what I'm missing? I'm missing hot chocolate. This is the perfect hot chocolate moment. In classic puzzle making fashion, I'm searching for all of the edges and as many edges as possible. And grouping them into... Look at these cute little guys. It's very clear to me that they are... I guess never mind. It's not clear at all. These puzzle piece shapes suck. Strategy at this time is grouping very patiently now that i'm getting into it though i do feel this is lifting my mood look at this puzzle piece am i just gonna be sh this is just gonna be a 20 minute long video of me being surprised at how stupid these puzzle shapes are what is this texas i just don't remember puzzle pieces looking like this am i just not in am i just a novice puzzle making maker 
Is someone watching this like, yeah, that's how they always look. I'm sorry, put me on, please, feel free to enlighten me, I had no idea. The moment I find my first puzzle match, I'm making myself hot chocolate. Maybe not though. My, I feel like I just want a lot of water. And tea. This is hibiscus tea. Okay, I will turn you back on when we get more movement happening. When something, when there's a shift in the puzzle making process. Because right now I'm just flipping over puzzle pieces and tossing them around, trying to situate each and every piece. Literally, what is this? They squeeze this into the puzzle cutting so obviously. They didn't have to make this extra piece. I'm pissed off at this one. All hail Jesus though, for real. Bless up. All these pieces are so disproportionate. Like, look at this one and this one. These are abnormally large. And then whatever this is. What the f- This guy. This is a 20 minute video of me judging all the puzzle pieces. I have yet to get one to match, by the way. I mean, I have all of this to cipher through, but damn. I have Bad Santa playing in the background to give me some auditory stimulation. If you're wondering what all that rumbling in the background is. Oh my god, I think I found one. Wait, where did I just put your sleep paralysis demon? Really, where did I just put it? Oh, no, I didn't. I lied. Something about touching these puzzle pieces is making me very, like, sensory-wise, it's making me very satisfied. I don't know if it's just because it's a game that I'm playing or whatever, but I'm very pleased. They are cursing in the background. Santa has a lot of creepy dolls in his workspace. He has no business having dolls. A grown ass man and he has zero children. His elves don't count as children. But in this finished photo on the box, he has one, two, three, a big ass set. Or maybe those are the, they're not the gifts for the kids he's bringing gifts to because one of them is in his bookshelf. So there's no excuse. You're not fooling me. Realize, realize, realize. What? Look. This is a huge piece, dude. Oh my god. I got one. <gasps> and my camera's gonna overheat. My first puzzle piece, you would almost miss it if you weren't paying attention because these hardly align. And now that is this. And. That's how they get you. Shout out to Sony. This camera is always overheating. Update. I hope you can't hear the TV because it sounds very loud. I'm gonna take my first break. I've actually made some progress and it's feeling very therapeutic for me. I've been enjoying it, but now my back hurts. So, and my hands feel dusty and really gross and my skin is starting to feel itchy. I'm gonna take this moment, but I did want to update you because I feel like that's important. We have Santa's stupid little face right here. I have some wicker pieces and some ends done. Whatever this is, which is actually a ball next to this teddy bear. We got this part done. We are grinding and the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the puzzle. I think a big key to puzzle connecting, puzzle doing, is remembering the outline and the visual of each piece that you pick up and then organizing it on your table space, but also inside of your brain so that when you pick up a piece that's similar to another piece that you've already picked up you can locate it and then assemble them together and it's just a matter of pattern recognition which is obvious because it is a puzzle that you're putting together but to break it down even further for you that is a good tip i'm gonna go wash my hands it's 8 55 so i've been doing this for over an hour now Puzzle hot chocolate. It's about 10.15 p.m. In case that wasn't clear, it's nighttime. I have made a lot of progress, but I have a big dream of doing this and finishing it completely by 12 a.m. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'll be shocked. It's just all of the red parts are really hard. It said that has a whole red jumpsuit or like two piece on, which I get it. This is a, he looks clean, he looks great. This is just like, a large eye spy in puzzle form and the red joints are very difficult i've made myself hot chocolate i did eat by the way like aside from the sweet potato pie so in case you're concerned i didn't just eat sweet potato pie and now i'm having hot chocolate i ate a meal 
eggs and potatoes with avocado. So I'm just providing you an update. 24 hour challenge, making puzzle challenge, Christmas day challenge, all alone on Christmas challenge. This is the 12 a.m. check-in. Yeah, it's 12.01. I'm not finished, but I still am feeling very inspired. I'm still feeling motivated. And the thing is too, if I don't finish the puzzle today, I probably won't take the time to go this hard tomorrow. I have to wake up so early tomorrow. That's the only thing that's kind of killing the vibe is reality. So that I can't just sit here and work on a holiday puzzle that I should have started maybe yesterday night. But let's look at the progress. Mind you, this has been, it's been about like, I started at what, eight-ish? It's been about three to four hours. Borders, you know, I have made a lot of progress and there's puzzle pieces on top of big chunks, keeping it easy to keep me stay organized, you know what I mean? Real puzzlers can relate. Um, I feel good. I just know that it's gonna, I will literally, sit here till 4 a.m. working on this. If I don't, one, cut it out early, stop, or two, stop. I just would have to stop <laughs> because if I finish it all the way through, it's gonna take me another four hours. I'm gonna probably, yeah, I'm gonna keep working on it for maybe another hour max, but I would still have to stay up and edit this video, which is gonna be crazy. Unfortunate bittersweet update. It is 12.35, 12.36, it's past 12. I didn't get the chance, I didn't finish it. I got very far and I am probably gonna be continuing it. But the thing is I have to edit this video and get it up. So challenge fail. I dead ass spent four hours working on this. I'm very impressed. Because I slept until one and because I took a meditation power energy revive, for reviver for like an hour and two or two i'm most certainly gonna be awake till i have to be ready to go to my job thing so i guess vlogmas is considered over which is again bittersweet i had such a good experience doing vlogmas i've always wanted to do vlogmas but i had trouble with like committing and like filming each day i finally did it and the challenge is complete this was something i wanted to do to prove myself and in the long and like in in the process i've gotten so many new people watching me and i think that's so cool and like it's a milestone for me this holiday season i did spend it by myself with the company of the internet but i had a really good time overall and plus i got the joy of sleeping in because i didn't have work that's always a bonus am i right reality ladies and gentlemen Moving forward, I do plan on posting every day still. If I skip a day, it's probably just because I need a second to like recoup and regroup myself. I had a lot of fun. This was puzzle making with Casey on Christmas day. It took me four hours. I posted an Instagram photo in my story saying, do you think I can finish this before the clock strikes midnight? And that was four hours ago. But I did have some pieces attached and assembled together. So it was probably like five hours I've been working on this. This video was very chill because of how much I slept in and how exhausted I was. But I do so hope that you were able to enjoy my company. Fun fact of the day is even if you plan on getting a puzzle done at midnight, you should probably still give yourself time, enough time to ensure that you have your puzzle done by midnight. Otherwise, maybe it's not going to get done by midnight. I will still... Also, I am, com I am bummed out that I couldn't stream or I didn't stream for this experience. I will figure out the connection and such, but I think it would have been just a lot easier. I wanted the full experience of me completing a holiday puzzle on Christmas day. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's fine. Twitch is not going anywhere and I can stream. But my name is Casey. This is Vlogmas Day 25. Merry Christmas. I am so happy that you decided to stumble across this video and watch it this far because you could have chosen so many other videos to watch, but you chose mine. I am honored. I hope you guys have a good night. I hope you had a, a very happy holiday and I hope Santa and your family granted all of your deepest desires. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.